Hello, Vinaka, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for uh, tuning in to this uh, press conference. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I say anything more, I'd like to show you how counting takes place in Fiji. Behind me right now, ladies and gentlemen, please zoom your cameras into the counting arena so that you can show everybody how counting actually takes place. And I will step aside for a minute so you can actually see and show that counting is done by people using ballot papers and by hand manually. So please take your time and, and record it. We're going to be famous. Yes, uh, I saw it go. That's what I saw it There is no electronic counting. The app does not count. So it's a... It is a manual counting done by Fijian Elections Office staff. Now, if you look at those barricades, everybody outside that barricade is a party agent. We have right now 60 polling, uh, 60 counting stations running. So each party is entitled to have 60 agents present. And I can tell you, there are parties like People's Alliance, National Federation Party, Fiji First, who have 60 agents, that is the maximum they can have, who are right now at the counting centers. As you can see, there are more people that you see right now outside the barricades than the ones inside the barricade. So there you go. Counting in Fiji is absolutely manual. There is no app counting it. There is no electronic counting. It's all manual. So if there is anybody right now asking for a manual count, if this does not show you that it is manual, there is nothing else that can convince you. Unfortunately, I have to use this language today because from the beginning of the year, we have been saying that counting is manual. And right now behind me, the pre-poll boxes are being counted by staff. You do not see any machine around them. In fact, there are no electronic devices around on the, on the floor. Right? So, point number one is the counting process. Point number two is about scrutineers. As you can see, anybody who is not wearing a blue vest or a purple vest or a red vest is a scrutineer from a political party. Wherever there is a ballot box, you will see scrutineers. Can we again zoom in and show the country that there are scrutineers present during the manual count? Sorry. In fact, after this, I will take you right here and you can probably show the count happening. There is a People's Alliance, uh, National Federation Party, and another representative right now scrutineering as the counting is taking place by the staff absolutely manually. In terms of the scrutineers, ladies and gentlemen, political parties are also entitled to have scrutineers present at the results center, where we conducted all our media interviews yesterday. As you would have noticed, right up until 1 a.m., there was no scrutineer present at the provisional result uh, announcement stage. For the media who were there, you were the only people from non-FEO who was present. So the, the result center is where the parties can send scrutineers and the scrutineers can then observe the process of result entry. They can also get results from the Fijian Elections Office at the site. The next point, ladies and gentlemen, that I would like to clarify is in relation to provisional results. I understand that certain political party leaders who have made statements today regarding the provisional results and there is a difference of terminology. The Fijian Elections Office announced that we were postponing the announcement of provisional results because we cited that certain candidates had received more votes than the leaders of the party. One particular candidate in the data burst that we did actually had 28,000 votes which we found to be very, very unreasonable because obviously in one data burst in 500 polling stations, suddenly a candidate had 28,000 votes. So we immediately pulled out that system. We went and checked what went wrong. We called the observers, we called the media, and we announced to you that we are facing problems with the data burst that we were putting out 
and that we were going to upload the results once we had fixed it. As I said to you yesterday, that the reason for the, the glitch we identified subsequently was that when we were loading the data onto the app, there was a disruption in the connectivity and the staff saw that the process failed and he reloaded the data in which case it was seen that the data became fuzzy and went into different candidates totals. When that was identified, which is within minutes of the data burst, we stopped entering data, we removed the app and we removed all the data from the app and we re-entered the data. It took us time, we wanted to be 100% sure, we did verifications, we did tests, we made sure that once we started again, the data was being accurately represented. By the time we finished doing that, it was about 2.30 in the morning. What has happened in the meantime is all the polling stations that finished counting continued to submit results which were being recorded in the result management system. The result management system is independent of the app. So once the app was fixed and was ready for us to release data, by that time there was significant amount of results already on the result management system. So even if, like right now, if you see the final results that we have announced in the, uh, in the final results part of the app, we have put up 28 polling station results. But we have results for about uh, 1,000 plus polling stations already with us. So once we complete data entry as we go along, the number of results will increase. So the volume was high and the results that were initially announced we're still in the data set, but with the, with the data burst issue that we saw, the results went back to what it was supposed to be. So one candidate had about 13,000 votes, but the results for that candidate was actually 63. Now, that we could identify because we looked at the result management system, which is the offline software where we enter all the results. We have released the results on the app again after fixing the app, which is what you relied on this morning to make your calls on the election. Now, after that, we are now entering final results. So somebody said, why have you stopped provisional results? The intention of provisional results is to show you that on the night of the election, particularly in the conspiracy theory uh, thriving country that we live in, on the night of the election, when the count is taking place in a polling station, the final count, not a first count, second count, it's the final count, when the count is taking place in a polling station, that count is final. The results that are published at the polling station in the pink slip and the white slip that is actually fully recorded is transmitted to the Fijian elections office physically. That takes us until Sunday to announce those results. If you look at from yesterday to today, the scenarios we've been through, do you think these five political parties would have waited till Sunday for the final results? They would have gone to town with all the theories that they are coming up with, apart from what they've come up now. But ladies and gentlemen, with all due respect to the leaders of those parties, they have never attended a single training on elections, so we cannot say that they actually knew how this process is supposed to work. The problem lies with those who attended these trainings and never informed them. So provisional results continues until 7 a.m. because after 7 a.m. the only count that is taking place is here at the count center, which has got the pre-poll ballots and postal ballots that are being counted. So overnight, the last result that was called in to us last night was at 1 a.m. After that, all polling stations around the country had finished counting. So once we got the data, we had the app running, we published the results until 7 a.m. There is no more results to publish. If I have to run a provisional results right up until Sunday, and Sunday morning, provisional results finish, Sunday afternoon final results come out, then people will think that the provisional results turned into final results. No. Final results are actually direct data entry from the white sheets of paper that is signed and witnessed at the polling station that we use to record the results. Provisional results are the ones that are called in. They are called in. There can be errors in it. We've said it from the beginning. It is only to give you the comfort that counting is taking place. The counting is taking place and results are coming in. We used to give it by party totals and candidate totals. This time around we are even going to the extent of polling venue level because we want to show you 
that yes, these are provisional results for a reason. There could be errors in them. So what's the Can point I finish? Having? Can I finish? Right? So provisional results come in every country. In Australia, you get provisional results on the night of the election. Some countries call the election from the provisional result. In 2017, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinta Ardern, conceded the election based on the results on the night. Subsequently, she became Prime Minister of New Zealand. So provisional results is not a new thing to only Fiji. It's all over the world. It gives you the, the indication one count is progressing, two result numbers are coming in, and three, that at the end of the election, this is the manner in which the results could move to. So that is what we mean by provisional results. It finishes off in Fiji at 7 a.m. because the counting finishes in the night by 1 a.m. Okay. The next point I would like to talk about is in relation to the final results. <coughs> Ladies and <coughs> excuse me, the final results in the election will be provided to you after the data entry of all the results from these polling venues are entered into the result system. They are going to be recorded directly from the protocols of results using the double blind data entry system. That means two people that we showed you this morning, two people will enter the results and once it matches and it is approved, that is the result that you will get on the app. The result management system is the one that is going to be printing the final results for us and that is the result that is on the app. Now, <clears throat> to give you an example, Political parties, I believe that the National Federation Party leader alleged that uh, they have not been given any copies of the protocols of result, etc. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is no National Federation Party agent at the result center. You can go and see right now. You are entitled as a political party to have an agent present at the result center. Every political party has their own laptop. They can bring their flash drive and they will be given the data directly from the result system as well as the scanning of all the results that have been entered into the software. Now, this morning, the, actually in the afternoon today, the agent from People's Alliance came and downloaded 28 protocols of results, which is the white sheet scanned by the FEO that came in from the polling stations and the corresponding result entered into the result management system. So, let me show you how inaccurate that statement is that the FEO doesn't give people the protocols of results. There you go. For the same polling station, on top is the scanned protocol of result. At the bottom is the one that is exported by the result management system after the data has been entered. Madam, you can verify this if you want. There you go. You don't want to verify this? There you go. Right. So this is the result that we give every political party. And it is given in electronic format. You can come, download it and go. The only party that has done it so far is the People's Alliance. And right there in that press conference, I saw that the People's Alliance failed to, to inform you that they already have this. They already have this. This is the result. And not only is the scanned version of the protocol of results in the system that we give to them, we give them what we entered into our system. So you can go and match it. As far as we are concerned, and I have the full 28 here, I will lay it out on the floor for you, so you can see what we give to the parties. And you are entitled to come and photograph them. You will see 90% of the time they are not there. But we continue to upload this data into their download forum, the folder. They can download it, they can take it home. They can take it to their party station. I know there is an unofficial result software that is being used. I also know there is a Viber group that has been made by the parties headed by Linda Tambuya gathering all the pink slips from around the country. I am in that group. I know. And I also know that somebody in that group has told them that majority of the uh, pink protocols of result are showing that the results are actually accurate in the provisional. So ladies and gentlemen, the question that I am asking is, you have just come out from a press conference where a number of allegations have been made. Did you ask for evidence? 
I listened to your press conference. You did not ask for evidence. You were only asking inconsequential questions. Did you ask them, have you seen how counting takes place? Did you ask them, do you have scrutineers at the count center? If they have scrutineers at the count center, did you ask them, have you seen the count taking place manually? Right there, I have nothing to hide. I am showing you. Conspiracy theories have gone to an extent that now we have political leaders coming up and asking for intervention in the electoral process simply because their own general secretaries and registered officers fail to update them of what's going on. The law says that the Fijian elections is office is supposed to put up the pink slip. Forget the pink slip, I'm giving you the white copy, which is the original that we scan into our system. The pink slips, as you can see, are all around the count center. Once counting concludes, then anybody can walk around that place with an electronic device. In 2018, we put the pink slips outside. As soon as we put it up, one person came, snatched it, ran away with it. The other parties did not have access to it. So for fairness, everything is inside. You can't run away with the pink slip. It's not only about getting the information so that we can verify. What will happen with the results that they are collating? I am already giving them this data. It's signed. Madam, you see it. It's signed. It's scanned. It's unedited. So, it's time to again realize what the reality is. I am showing you. It's counting manually. There is a lady right there. She's touching ballot papers, picking it up and recording it. After this press conference, bring, bring the cameras here and see it for yourself. Anybody calling for a manual count in PG? Tell me what else can I do to make it more manual than that? What else do you want me to do? There is absolutely nothing else you can make more manual. It's the same the counting process from the history of elections in PG. People picking up ballot papers and saying one, two, three, four, five. So ladies and gentlemen, with all due respect to everybody who's been making statements, I urge you to Ensure that your statements are filled with accuracy and it reflects the situation which is the arrangement with the FEO and the parties. The political parties asked us to give them the, the scanned version of the protocol of result because they can't all get the pink copy from the polling stations. So we are giving it to them. In addition to that, we are also giving them the final results that has been entered into the result management system. So everything is there. For that same polling station, you can verify it. None of the political parties have so far raised any inquiries with us regarding the results for any polling station. Yesterday night, a lot of members of the public messaged me after the results software showed additional numbers, which is what was the, one of the causes of the taking down of the software because everybody was getting misled. And then we sent a media alert to the media to ask them not to publish that result, which is what the right thing should have been. And that's what we did. This morning, the word glitch is now being used by the parties to say that we lost votes. But the, that's just playing with words. We don't play with words, we just show you. The last one I want to clarify is that this press conference is taking place at the count center. The latest rumor going around is that I have been restricted from coming into the count center. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just thought to clarify that last bit too.